because somebody in this building has to be a grown up. And if it's our caucus, then so be it. We have a responsibility to reflect reality when it comes to our budget. And this is what it does. Obviously, the major changes in this relate to spending and appropriations, the purview of my, my good friend who's the ranking on appropriations. But we have taken into account things like the significant decline in sales tax, and despite that, managed to preserve MRSA. We've had to reduce the revenue transfer from last year to this year, again, respecting reality. And we have c come through on our promise to get rid of the highway use tax, recognizing the burden that inflation has taken on all our residents. And by the way, the Special Transportation Fund, even with removal of the highway use tax, is still running close to a $200 million surplus. And to be honest, given the policy goals of totally getting rid of gas-powered vehicles, I'll take seriously threats to the Special Transportation Fund when I hear some serious discussions about taxing electric vehicles. New Jersey just is putting through a bill, $300 when you register your electric vehicle, you pay the first four years up front. $1,200, that's a big chunk of change. Let's have a serious discussion about where we find revenue when we're taking revenue sources away. But I want to reiterate what Representative Candelora and Representative Nuccio said, this budget adjustment respects not only the spirit of what we're supposed to do, but the letter of what we're supposed to do, and respects and abides by those fiscal guardrails.